Can a business owner deduct the cost of his unsuccessful legal defense on his taxes? Commissioner of Internal Revenue v. Tellier provides a stock answer. Walter Tellier was convicted of 36 counts of fraud relating to his stock business. He paid almost $23,000 in legal expenses for his unsuccessful criminal defense. That year, he claimed a deduction for these legal expenses on his federal tax return. The Commissioner of Internal Revenue disallowed the deduction. Tellier sued the commissioner, and the tax court upheld the decision to disallow the deduction. Tellier then appealed to the Second Circuit, which unanimously reversed the tax court. The commissioner appealed to the United States Supreme Court, which granted cert.